Kate Hansen, the Luge Coog, Olympian, Luge extraordinaire, you're back on set. Welcome, welcome up? back, Kate. Thank you, thank you. Happy to be here. Happy to be reunited with my boys, you know. Now, we should explain something that we didn't explain. We didn't tell you this was on TV now. Yeah. <laughs> you just worked out. No, yeah. I literally was so stoked that it was a radio interview because I thought, <laughs> it how is. nice. I don't have to wear anything specific. I can just, I can just be me. Like, this is me yes. raw. Well, I'm you're very raw right now, so... Just came from. That's what we want, though. You know, that's just what that's what Luge fans and Kook fans that's what they love. You know, so <laughs> I'm ready to bring it to the people. Well, we we're glad to have you back. We've had uh, fun chatting with you in different countries, uh, you know, all over the place. So fun to have you back here. But you 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 went to the Olympics, and now after the Olympics, mm -hmm. you've had this awesome stardom. You had less Twitter followers than Spencer before the Olympics. Now you have 23,000. <laughs> you have 22,000 more than me. Uh, and you have the uh, Twitter check mark. You've had all sorts of things uh, happen to you. Let's just uh, name some and then add to this if we missed any. Jimmy Kimmel, White House, Dodgers game. Throw out, out the first pitch. Uh, Today Show, American Ninja Warrior this week, Beyonce. Did we miss anything significant? Um, no, th those are probably the big ones. What's been the coolest thing? No, no, no. Let, let's oh. ask this. What is the second best thing oh, that you've done this. since the Olympics besides what you're doing yeah. right now? Oh, well, clearly, <laughs> I've been looking forward to this interview for months. So. White House, be right <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, President Obama, pretty cool dude. Um, personally, I didn't vote for him, but he was a nice guy. So okay. Okay. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Barry and Michelle. Super cool. And then, um, yeah, we tight now. So, Barry! <laughs> yeah, we're on like really good times. And then, <laughs> probably throwing out the first pitch at Dodger Stadium because my family's had, well, we had season tickets all growing up, mm. and that I like bleed Dodger blue more, kind of more so than Cougar blue, unfortunately. But I like. Did you get to meet Understood. the players? Yeah, I met some of them. So, who's and, your favorite player? Well, okay, Andre Ethier has been like my boy since I was little. I had the biggest crush on him. But back when we had season tickets, like I could name the whole lineup back in like 2004. That was when I was like real big on okay. it. But now we're getting so many new people. And then, I mean, and we had a really good run last year, but now we're kind of struggling. And Puig's a wild card, so you never yes, know. Yes, he is. So, but. Ethier's a good dude. I've met him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Met him in Colorado. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Playing the Rockies. Yeah, yeah. he's a big deal. So I did, like him. Did you throw a strike? Of course. I practiced all morning. I actually Did threw, you really throw a strike? Well, I threw a curveball, so that's what I went On for. On purpose? No. More importantly, <laughs> did you ground it when you threw the first no, pitch? No, he Kate? caught it. No, he, he, it, he, was, it was he caught. Cut. Right. Yes. Yeah. It I know he caught it. It wasn't Fitty Sen. Into, did you see that? I saw a picture of it. It was yeah. pretty horrendous. It was bad. I Ask th Jerem Jordan how he, how he did in his first pitch experience. I threw it out at just BYU. It's not the Dodgers. There were, no, there, were no, there were no Doyer dogs there, but I, yeah, I grounded it. <laughs> really? I have the ball. It's very dirty. Wow. Dirt. It was really awkward because no one oh. clapped or anything. It was, it like, was just like a, hey. Was, yeah. Hi. Thanks for coming. I went like this. Ah! Uh, Swear word! Yeah, Sorry. Jerem did have a suit on. I'll give him that. Well, what? Do, I mean, oh. what, do, what are you doing now, Kate? Like, yeah, what's, what now? What's happening now? You know, I'm in school, and it's, it's rough, to say the least. It's really hard to be in class when I feel like I could be taking over the world right now okay. but um i'm in class and then i'm just kind of i'm doing giving i'm speaking a lot so i'm kind of traveling around and i'm actually heading back to california to go coach like a luge clinic nice. that's being held in my hometown so i actually leave today so i'm stoked about it uh i want to ask you about one of those speaking engagements uh my dad gives me a call a couple <laughs> months ago when i'm at the ncaa tournament in milwaukee for men's basketball and he says kate hansen says hi <laughs> like my dad lives in Asheville, north carolina and i was like huh you yeah. went and spoke at my dad's steak, yeah, or something. I totally did. So and I my was dad a, went up and yeah, it came up to something. me, and I was like, "Oh, ha pleasure, all mine, pleasure." I was on a road trip from New York to LA, mm. so and we have friends in Asheville, so I gave a fireside there, and then in Nashville, and then in Oklahoma City, and then it was just awesome a tour, you know. You're except all up you're all over the place. Okay, so between touring and giving speeches and being on American Ninja Warrior, which by the <laughs> Can way, Can we address that yeah, for a second? Let's address that. it. Okay, let's talk about it. Third stage, I thought I thought you were fantastic. The second one you went a little slow on, but that's fine, you got through it. And then the third <laughs> stage, what happened? You know I expected great things. Okay, well here's the thing about American Ninja Warrior, you can't go through the course at all. So I was getting contacted before the show, like, oh, come train with us, yada yada yada. And I'm like, 
oh, that'd be kind of cool, but like, th- I'm not gonna, this isn't that serious for me. Yeah. I kind of think yeah. this is hilarious. <laughs> and so, um, so when I got to the show, there's like all these free runners and parkour guys like giving me tips, and I'm just like, <laughs> sick. And then, but you can't run through it also. It's just like off the cuff. And yeah. so, the third one, you know, there, there were like a line of ropes, you know, uh, it's like a ladder, it's like yeah, a slack line yeah, ladder. Yeah. And looking back, obviously, I've critiqued, you know, gone over film, broken down gone the over, film yeah, broken it all down. And, you know, I should have just gone straight across like a, like a real slack line instead of trying to go for the ladder thing. But That's all right. I'm just grateful that there wasn't water underneath yeah. because that if was, it was th- like the Japanese version. It would have been well, like every mud other, and craziness, right? Every other obstacle had water underneath. And I, it was at 2 a.m when they filmed it oh. so it's freezing and so <laughs> and i had to leave on a flight like four hours later Why are they filming it at 2 a.m because the lighting has to be the same wow. so you check in at like six and then they don't film till like 11 and they film 11 to 5 and then my flight was at five so i was lucky because i was going straight to the airport so i was lucky that i didn't fall in the water because that would have been a miserable <laughs> plane flight so i was grateful for that so you fell on the third one on purpose is that what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, pretty much that was my strategy. I want to go home. No, but okay. here's the thing. The fourth one, I wouldn't have made anyway. The jump from this little trampoline to the pull-up bar, I just would have probably done a flip off of it. Like, there was no chance that was happening. So, hmm. I got lucky, I think. Kate That's Hansen, cool, though. You got invited yeah. to that. America Ninja like Warrior it. star, <laughs> Luge Coog, Olympian on BYU Sports Nation. Great to have you back. Uh, you're working in classes amidst a crazy schedule. What's the next year for you like? Um, that's a good question. So I'm going to be home for the summer, um, working and just, I haven't been in California for like seven years for summer. So, wow. um, yeah, I'm excited. And how then, have you survived that? I know you're a Cali girl at heart. I for know. Sure. I know. That's why I like made it a point. I was like, I'm going home this summer. I don't yeah. care what anyone says. So, but then for fall, I'll be back in school full time. My first fall, my first fall winter semesters consecutively in like eight years. Wow. So it'll be rough. It'll be really rough. You can go to football games. We're talking about football today as well. I mean, I mean, clearly, like next year's supposed to be the year. You know, like right. next year we're gonna actually bring it to them. And every year I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd like to think this is actually the year, but I've seen our home schedule and Savannah State. I just. Well, that's the weakest of the games. I know, but why? I, this is not. Never mind. You're Let's trying. You're trying to get a win. <laughs> it, everyone plays an FCS or a Division One AA team. Everyone does it. It's true. I just yeah. grew up USC UCLA. So, like, that's, like, yeah. my standard of footballs. But, mm-hmm. obviously, I mean, Lane Kiffin had a rough year anyway, so yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Wow, you are a Cali girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Kate Hansen, a friend of Barry Obama, is on BYU Sports <laughs> Nation. <laughs> and Michelle. Um, so, when uh, – so, are you going to graduate in 2024 or 25? Um, probably, like, 2030. It's going to be a long time in Provo. So. Yeah. Joking, joking aside – no, not joking aside, I guess. Uh, what's, your, what's your major again? And then uh, do you have a plan on when you'd like to graduate at some point? To me, if I'm in the Olympics, I'm like, undergrad? That doesn't matter. I'll go. I'll take my time. Like, I'd, I'll do, I'd do the same thing. Yeah. Um, American Ninja Warrior? I got stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be a ninja in my spare time. I don't have a major, but I finished all my GE, so I need to, like, decide now. Um, if anyone has any ideas for me. You Broadcast know. journalism. Okay. We can help you. We can. Okay. Will, you be, will you be a guest host with us on BYU Sports Nation? Like, if Jeremiah are sick, would you come on and host the show? With sure. Us? Oh, I'd be all about that. That'd be okay. really fun. Well, get this. So when I threw the pitch at Dodger Stadium, they offered me a job for the what? summer to be the on-field camera girl. So Really? So I may get, like, actually kind of good at it, and then and then I'll come work yeah, for you yeah. guys. So that you'd be, like, the sideline reporter on the broadcast? Like, broad I think the one that With like Vin Scully or like inside, the the inside the stadium? No, inside the stadium. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, in stadium with, like, the fans. Like. Gotcha. So I don't know. It'll be pretty funny. Have you met Vin Scully? Uh, no, I haven't. Are Maybe. you going to do this? Have you committed to do this? Uh, yeah, oh, for sure. Are you kidding? Yeah. This okay. is, like, a life. This is, like, a dream. Yeah, I've been following up. Yeah, I'm on it. So that's your dream job. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what my dream. My dream was to go to the Olympics, and so Done. now check. check, check, peaked. Get, get a blue check mark on peaked. Twitter. I'm check. I'm peaking right now. <laughs> um, but you know how, like, on your birthday you make a wish, or like you blow your eyelash, you make a wish. Like, I don't really have any more like wishes yet. It was always the Olympics, and now it's done, and now I just I gotta reevaluate my life. People don't uh, uh, don't often get that wish made. But like like flip a coin into water. Right. Every wish. For me, was it was little. like kiss a certain girl in high school. No, like that was, that was it the thing. Yeah. It didn't happen? It didn't happen. It never happened. <laughs> Candace <laughs> Knutson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Whitney. Okay. <laughs> that was it. I ever don't even since, know her married name now. Oh, okay. Ever since I was little, every wish, like we, my family, when I was in Italy, the Trevi Fountain, like Olympics, every wishbone, every little dandelion you blow, every eyelash, every birthday was always the Olympics. So everything's built up to 2014 and now it's over so now i'm just like 
Okay, now I, now I'm starting to really grasp why you had tears in your eyes during the opening ceremonies. Like, oh. I, I get it. Oh like, yeah. Wow. Oh wow. yeah. It's yeah. It's it's deep. You know, it's deep. And did I did I tell you I was listening? Our yeah, Kelly. Yeah. yeah. Did we, I tell you that? Yeah, you told, told us you were before going you were to, going but to. Yeah. You, you actually yeah. did. Oh, of course. Are you kidding? I like had my iPod charged. I was. That was one moment I was not going to ruin. I, like I didn't care if I crashed in the Olympics, but that was one moment I was not going to let pass. And you didn't. You performed admirably. Yeah, I got real lucky. Yeah, I was stoked on a top 10 finish. Some people ask me, they go, are you disappointed with your finish? And I'm just like, no. Rude, A. <laughs> Don't ask anyone that question. And B. Face punch. Yeah. Uh, no, I was stoked. I was way pumped. I had really, I had, I had really bad training. Willie? Really, Willie? Really, really? I had really bad training the week before, so I got, I got pretty lucky. Not to mention you had broken your foot and whatnot. Yeah, considering recently. all the setbacks yeah. in my life, yeah. yeah. My career has been 90% failure and only 10% success. So. <laughs> Listen, though, your 10% success included I the Olympics. Count. I made a count. The ultimate. Yeah. I, yes. So I'm watching the opening ceremonies, and I see you crying, and like I started getting emotional, honestly. Just like, hey, you told us that you would enjoy that moment, and you did. Like I loved yeah. that. Well, and you represented BYU. You represented Mormons to a degree, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, that yeah. Was, that was a big moment. The best part was like we were I was with the speed skaters up in the front because um, it was like our first Olympics. And oh, I would get the question because I was so stoked to be there. They'd be like, is this your first Olympics? And I'd be like, well, you think I just come to five in my spare time? You think I just <laughs> I'm 20. Do this? Yeah. You just think, I, oh, it yeah, looks like I've been here. Uh huh. So, because oh. some people, yeah, this is my floor. This is my fit. And they're like over it. So the speed skaters, it was all of our first time. So we were in the front. We had all of our arms linked. And we were walking in, and there was just so much spirit. Like, it was, it was, I couldn't even contain it. And you walk in, and, like, it was just, like, lights everywhere. And I felt like I was in the Hunger Games. And, like, <laughs> it's, like, all I saw was just, like, colors. And then I was just, like, this is it. This is real. And then everyone just, like, all of Team America, all of our arms were linked. And we were just screaming and yelling and cheering. And then I was crying. So awesome. Number of texts on your phone after that. So here's the best part. So I was in Russia. So I turned off my – so I couldn't get text, but the Facebook one is – that I got, like, a 1,000. Uh, out of control, I'm sure. I can't even go on Facebook anymore. <laughs> it's just too overwhelming. It's a good problem. I can't do it. It's a good problem. When you're friends with Barry Obama and Michelle, you can't – It's just too much. Anymore. I screenshotted all my notifications. It was, like, like 1,200 friend requests and, like, like 500 notif- – like I just – I can't do it. Will you accept Jerem's friend requests on Facebook? Have I not? I just can't. I can't go through <laughs> He's anymore. He's doing it right now. <laughs> I have to go. Indeed. I'll have no, no, to go listen, through. The, this this friend request yeah, okay. matters the most, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Matters. Kate Hansen, the Luge Cougar on BYU Sports need, Nation. I don't need some digital thing to tell me what a friend is. <laughs> I know. Needs, I know. Who needs Facebook? Will you know? please be my friend, who Kate? Needs it? <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 no, but really, will you be my friend? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I can take care of that. Uh, given that you had such an awesome Olympic experience. Do you not want to go back again? Oh, I would love to go back again. I I realized I love I love the Olympics and I love everything it stands for and I loved every second of it. Such a commitment. But the four years beforehand, I yeah. hated. I it was You hated. Pretty close. Hmm. It was rough. Like I said, ninety percent of my career has been failure. I literally I've raced in a hundred races in my in my career and I could probably name nine that wow. I actually rose to the occasion and just crushed it. Hmm. The other ninety one were just like wildly mediocre or terrible. So the four years getting to it, I'm grateful I gotta be all part of it. I'm grateful I gotta experience all of it. But to go another four, it would take it would take everything out of me. But I would love if the Olympics if yeah. the Olympics were in a year, oh, yeah, I'd be there in a heartbeat. This was a pinnacle season for you. You got your first World Cup win. You go to the Olympics. My first and only and most likely last, so <laughs> I'll relish and, in and that it moment. Happened, it happened after what, Kate? I have a lot, a lot of, a lot of trials in my life and a, lot, a big broken foot, and who knows? Yeah, so you overcame that, and you had BYU Sports Nation karma. I did. Right? Yeah, I totally did. You yes. took it to Russia. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, back in the day, we asked you if you'd bring us back something from Sochi. Mm-hmm. I did not I don't forget. Wanna, I don't want to come off desperate here, but do you, you have anything for us? Well, I would never let my boys down. So yes. Okay. Here we yes. go. Um, it was a thought. I mean, obviously, when I was in the Olympics, I didn't really care that I was racing, but I was more concerned about what I was going to bring back for the studio. I appreciate <laughs> that lie a lot. <laughs> um, I brought back. I brought back a little... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Front and center. I don't even know what these it. are called. The, They're called the little Russian dolls. I don't. I don't know. What these I forget are called, the Russian name for them, but it says like the what? A nutrishka? Something like that. I should know this. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. Um, but it says Sochi, and it was like personally. Thank you. It was like personally painted, and like you can put like 
M and M's in there if you want. Yeah, Spencer will put all the Skittles in there. And yeah. yeah, thank you. It's for Kate. you guys. This is thank awesome. You. This is from Sochi. This yeah, is fantastic. That's it. From an Olympian, Kate Hansen. You thank you very that. much. You could sell it for a lot of money. So. Heck no. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Listen, this will go. This will go up here by the cheese on the list of. When people come on the set, they go, what is that doing here? <laughs> You're like, don't you know what it when is? When you have a piece of cheese, went Look to Wisconsin. Oh, she's so Thank cute. you. We, pre- we appreciate you bringing that. Hey, us. anytime. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, it's, it's been great to have you. Yeah, you can't oh, leave without can, signing our, our Sports Nation flag. Can we get your Herbie Hancock? Oh, wow. I'm honored. Look at this is when you know we, you've made it. We generally I don't only even have care about the Olympics anymore. <laughs> all, these, all these people have been on American Ninja Warrior. That's what that is. Yeah, these, so these are all true ninjas. <laughs> oh my goodness this is why you're one of our favorite kate hansen okay and, and we're gonna hold you to your word when uh if i'm sick or if we'd, sick, we'd love to have we'd, you guest we'd love host. to have you guest host fun. okay you can teach um, us the tricks of the trade after you learn it from dodger stadium dodger stadium yeah That's i'll right. be all up in there <laughs> i guess it depends on who we have the show to who we have on the show too you know like if we're like winning season like with the football team okay. and like maybe we could do it but do you have any requests like do you have a guest that you want to have on that day um I mean, it's obviously within the BYU world, right? We can't be putting out, like, Kobe Bryant requests. Or... Uh, we ask every day and we get denied. Yeah, yeah. Co- yeah, Kobe said no to us 17 times now. So. It's like, why would I be on BYU TV? No, yeah, you think about that, Kate. Hey, you let me know. Okay. Your people call my people. We can, we can get that. We'll we can tweet get that at together. you.